we just talked about the life cycle of a clownfish and we also talked a little bit about coral reefs. We learned that the sea anemone is poisonous to all other fish except the clownfish. And we also learned that the clownfish lays eggs in the sea anemones. Let's take a little dive and learn more about the clownfish. Get ready to dive deep in the ocean and learn some cool facts about fish and their marine habitat on Scuba Sam's World. This reef dweller is a popular fish, known for its bright orange color and distinctive white bars outlined in black. Look familiar? It's the clownfish. Named for the bold color strokes on its body that look like the face paint on a circus clown. There are at least 30 known species of clownfish that mostly live in shallow waters of the Red Sea, Indian, and Western Pacific Oceans. Due to their small size, clownfish are easy prey for sharks, eels, and larger fish. Protection is key to their survival. Clownfish use sea anemones as their home and personal bodyguards. They are one of the only fish immune to the sea anemone's stinging tentacles. So it keeps predators at a distance. In return for safety, clownfish provide nutrients to the anemone and keep it clean of parasites. This perfect pair also share food. The clownfish gets to enjoy whatever food is left over after the sea anemone is done feasting. Sounds like a sweet deal. Clownfish are social fish, communicating by making popping and clicking noises. These pint-sized beauties are fierce defenders of their anemone homes, chasing away any visiting fish or divers. So, keep a safe distance. These fish are not clowning around. Wow, boys and girls, I learned something really cool. I learned that the sea anemones that are down in the coral reef help protect the clownfish from predators by using their stinging poisonous tentacles that sharks and other things can get poisoned by, but these guys can't. But then I also learned something really neat, that the clownfish help the sea anemones by cleaning them and keeping parasites off of them that would make them sick. Isn't that really cool that they kind of help each other? Yeah, I thought that was a really interesting thing. Well, I have a challenge for you that I'm going to explain in my next video. I think you're going to love it. You're going to need some art supplies and some Play-Doh. I'll be back with you to share with what it is.